Hello, I'm Mel Armstrong, a surface pattern designer and illustrator from Wellington, New Zealand. Today I'm going to show you how I create half drop repeats in Photoshop using smart objects. In a half drop repeat, the artwork is repeated along the horizontal and vertical lines, similar to a square repeat, however, the horizontal repeat is staggered. Half drop repeats are really great for concealing the repeat within the artwork, whereas full drop repeats or square repeats can be quite obvious to the eye. There is a place for both types of repeats depending on what you are designing for, but I love half drop repeats and I use them frequently in my work. So let's get to it. Okay, let's start by creating a new document. So go to File, New. And I'm going to create a 12 by 12 inch 300 dpi canvas. And I'm going to make sure my snap is on and my rulers are on. And then I'm going to create a center guide. So if I click on the ruler and drag, and it shall snap to 6 inches. And then the same from the top. And then lock guides. We want to create a diamond now, which will be our guide for the half drop. So click on the rectangular marquee tool, make sure it's fixed size, and it needs to be half the size of your canvas. So our canvas here is 12 by 12 inches, so we need to make a square that is 6 by 6 inches. If I do that and then click, there is our square. And then we're going to go to layer, new fill layer, and solid color. I like to pick a gray and make it quite light. We need to then rotate that to make a diamond shape. So command T, and if I hold the shift, it will snap into place. We need to also make sure that it is centered. So drag it until it snaps to the center. And I'm just going to bump down the opacity and then lock it. So now we can go and drag our icon in. And I also want to add a background color. So I'll place a background color right at the bottom. So if I go to layer, new, fill layer, solid color, and I want to make that a blue color, that way you can see my flower quite well, and I will lock that as well. I might bump down the opacity on the diamond a bit more. We don't need that it's so strong. Okay, now our flowers we want to copy and place in this diamond however you like. So I'm just going to duplicate and rotate and resize until they are all placed nicely in the diamond. Now they can go off the edge slightly, just not too far. And I think I will leave that like that. Now you need to group those icons. I'm going to remove my, rec my diamond and move my background up and group it with my now duplicate your group hide the original right click and convert to smart object then I'm going to rename this to middle and we're going to duplicate this smart object a number of times to fill in the gaps around so let's duplicate one and call it middle bottom and then go to filter other offset let's reset these to zero to place it back in the middle and then we are going to change the vertical number to around 2500 and then you can use the slider to just adjust that however you want 
just to make it look uh, fit in nicely at the bottom there. Just also make sure that it's an even number because it will need to be divided by 2. So this one is 2426 and I am going to write that down so I can remember it later. And then let's duplicate this one and place it at the top. So I just drag it down to the plus sign. Let's change that to middle top. Double click on the offset and then change the vertical to minus. And now we're going to fill in these gaps down the bottom on the left and the right. So if we copy the middle bottom and let's change that to bottom right. Let's go into the offset. Let's, this is where we need to halve that vertical number. And that'll place it halfway between and then we need to move it across horizontally. So I want to use my slider to do that. That looks pretty good there and I'm going to write that number down as my horizontal reference. And then let's duplicate this bottom right and make it the bottom left. Double click on offset and then change that horizontal number to a negative. And now we're going to move the left and right bottom and duplicate them to the top. So let's do the bottom left first. Change that to top left. Double click on offset and this time we're going to change the, horizontal, uh, the vertical to a negative. And then let's do the bottom right. So now we have our half drop repeat, but we need to, we may need to adjust some of the icons. So I might want to fill in a gap or remove one. So we can click into any of these smart objects to do that. And I'm going to flick back here and have a look. I'm going to add another one up here. Move this one slightly. Maybe another one in here. So when we close that and save it, it's updated every smart object. I might turn off our guides now. Now the next step is to extract the repeat tile. So let's group our smart objects. And let's create a copy of the background as well and move that under that group of smart objects. And let's select all of those, the smart objects and the background, right click and merge them. Now we've always got that copy here if we needed to go back and adjust anything. So for this, we're going to go back to those numbers that we wrote down and click on the rectangular marquee tool and make sure that it is fixed size. So in the width, we want to write in the horizontal number that you wrote down but you need to double it. So I had 1532 as my horizontal number so if I double that I have 3064 and I'm going to put that in here as pixels so add the px on the end. The height is the vertical number that you wrote down. So in my case, it was two, four, two, six pixels. And then when you click in here with your marquee tool, that is your repeating tile. And you can sort of see that here. So if I put the corner in the middle of that flower, you can see that it repeats perfectly on each corner. And everything here, on the left you can see that it repeats on the right and the same with the top and the bottom. So now we just need to copy that 
go to edit copy then go to file new the clipboard has copied that size for you so you don't need to type in the size of the new canvas just click create and then paste and that is your repeating tile and you can save that as a JPEG and then upload it to a print-on-demand website to have it printed on products or to Spoonflower if you want to print fabric. You should also test it. So to test this I'm just going to go to edit define pattern and I'll call it daisies and then let's turn that off and let's create a new layer. So go to layer, new fill layer and select pattern. And then you'll need to select that pattern that you created and then adjust the scale down so that you can then see that it repeats beautifully. Nothing has been cut off. And that is a half drop repeat and the, the good thing about half drop repeats is that there's no very clear repeating line so it flows beautifully as opposed to a standard repeat and that is it from me today thank you